YouTube. Today we're doing free code camp back in development and APIs. We're in the basic node and express course and we are on the 10th challenge getting a query, a query parameter input from the client. So uh, a common way to get input from a client is by encoding data in the route path using a query string. The query string is delimited by a question mark and includes the field equal value couples. Each couple is separated by an ampersand, so and sign. Express can parse this data from the query string, populate the object request.query, and populate the object. Okay, some characters, like the percent, cannot be in URLs and have to be encoded in different formats before you can send them. If you use an API in JavaScript, you can use specific methods to encode slash decode these characters. So if we look here, we have a route path, it's a library. If we're uh, using query parameters in this route we can see it's a library question mark stating it's a query and then we have the key of user ID that is equal to 546 and another one the key of book ID and the value of 6754 so you can see in the request.query field we'll get an object that has those two key value pairs and the values that are in them so what we're going to do is build an API endpoint mounted at slash name, uh, re respond with a JSON that should take the structure of name, first name, last name, and then the first name and last name parameters should be encoded in the query string. Okay. Interesting. All right. So this is going to be a get request. Uh, if we go to our replit here. We can start challenge 10. So here's challenge 10. And this is going to be at app.get. And they wanted it to be at the URL of slash name. And then for the second argument, we'll do a callback function with request response. Callback arrow, open it up. And then we'll just respond with a JSON and an object inside that. So we have the JSON, then curly braces to identify it's an object, and we'll have the name, key, and then the values will be collected from first and last. So we can see that the parameters are gonna be passed in this format. So first equals, and then whatever the first name is, and then last equals whatever the last name is. Okay, cool. So well, all we have to do here is say request.query.first plus, uh, plus space plus request.query.last. That's all we should have to do for this one. So we're saying uh, respond with a JSON object. This is the object. Inside it, we have a key with name, and the value of the key is the first name plus a space and the last name. So these are uh, strings. So we can add them together and make it one string with the plus sign, and this should just have first name, space, last name when we test it. So if we go to test it, actually, let's just take this real quick. Uh, and we go to our live version of the app. I already have pulled up here and if I go to slash name and then oh, I didn't copy this copy that so I go to name question mark first whatever I put in this first name field here so if I put reboot and the last name YouTube This should encode and our route should be ready to accept that because it's awaiting a first and last variable in the query name and the query address. So let's just go and submit this. And we can see, yes, we do in fact get back a JSON object with name and then the string of whatever was encoded. And this will do the same with if we put whatever was encoded here, just like that. So that is all we should have to do for this one. We can go ahead and take our live address, live app address again, 
and paste it back in Free Code Camp and complete the challenge. So that's it for this one. Hope to see you guys in the next video.